<clears throat> the sinful sons of Eli. Now the sons of Eli were the sons of scoundrels, not knowing the Lord and the custom of the priest for the people who sacrificed was for the servant of the priest to come while the meat was boiling. With a three-pronged meat hook in his hand, he would then thrust it into either the large kettle or the brazen vessel or the pot. And everything the meat hook brought up, the priest would take for himself. So in Shiloh, they did this to all the Israelites who came there to sacrifice to the Lord. Also, before they burned the fat, the servant came and said to the man who sacrificed, Give some meat to be roasted to the priest, and I will not take any of your boiled meat from out of the cauldron. And if the man sacrificing said to him, First he should burn the fat as fitting. Then you may take as much as your soul desires, but he would say, No, you shall give it to me now. And if not, I will take it by force. Therefore the sin of the servants is exceedingly great before the Lord, for they have nullified the sacrifice of the Lord. God's servant Samuel. As a young boy, Samuel was serving before the Lord wearing a linen ephod of a servant. Moreover, his mother used to make him a little robe and bring it to him once a year <clears throat> when she came up with her husband to offer the yearly sacrifice. And Eli would bless her El would and Eli would bless Elkanah and his wife, saying, May the Lord repay you with a seed from this woman in return for the loan you made to the Lord. Then the man went to his place, and the Lord watched over Hannah, and she bore three more sons and two daughters. And the boy Samuel grew and matured before the Lord, a prophecy against Eli's house. Now Eli was very, very old, and he heard what his sons did to the sons of Israel. So he said to them, Why are you doing what I hear from the mouth of all the people of the Lord. No, my sons, for the report I hear is not good. Do not act in this manner, for the reports I hear are not good, causing the people not to serve God. If one man sins against another, they will pray to the Lord for him. But if a man sins against the Lord, who will pray for him? Nevertheless, they did not heed their father's voice. So the Lord desired to destroy them. But the child Samuel led his life and he grew and matured and found favor, both with the Lord and with men. Then a man of God came to Eli and said to him, Thus says the Lord, I clearly revealed myself to the house of your father when they were slaves in Egypt, in Pharaoh's house. I chose the house of your father out of all the tribes of Israel to be my priest, to go to my altar, to burn incense, and to wear an ephod before me. And I gave to the house of your father and to the sons of Israel food from all the offerings of fire. Why do you regard my incense and my sacrifice with imprudent eyes and honor your sons more than me? To bless yourselves with the best of all the first of the fruits of Israel set before me. Therefore, the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed that your house and your father's house would walk before me forever. But now... The Lord says, Far be it from me, for I will honor those who honor me, and the one who despises me shall be dishonored. Behold, the days are coming that I will destroy your seed and the seed of the house of your father, and there shall not be an old man descended from you in my house forever. But for you, I will not destroy a man from my altar, even though his eyes have failed and his life has drained away. But all the descendants of your house shall fall by men's swords. Now this shall be the sign to you that will come upon your two sons, on Hophni and Phinehas. In one day, both of them shall die. Then I will raise up for myself a faithful priest who shall do all that is in my heart and in my soul. I will build him a faithful house, and he shall walk before my Christ forever. And it shall come to pass that everyone who remains in your house will.
for a small amount of silver, prostrate before him, begging, Place me in the priesthood, so I may eat. One loaf of bread. The Lord speaks to Samuel. The boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli the priest. And the, Lord, and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no discerning vision. So on that day, while Eli was laying down in his place, his eyes were starting to grow heavy, barely able to see. Before the lamp of God went out, and while Samuel was asleep in the temple, where the ark of God was, the Lord called, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Here I am. So he ran to Eli and said, Here I am, for you called me. And Eli said, I did not call you. Return and lie down. So he returned and lay down. Then the Lord called again, Samuel, Samuel. So Samuel went to Eli a second time and said, Here I am, for you called me. Eli answered, I did not call you. Return and lie down. Now this all happened before Samuel knew the Lord. And before the word of the Lord was revealed to him, and the Lord called Samuel again a third time. Then he arose and went to Eli and said, Here I am, before you called me. Then Eli perceived that the Lord had called the boy. And he said, Return, lie down, my child. And if he calls you, you must say, O Lord, speak, for your servant hears. So Samuel went and fell asleep in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called as before. So Samuel answered, Speak. For your servant hears. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I shall execute my words in Israel. For everyone hearing them, both ears will tingle. In that day I will raise up against Eli everything I spoke concerning his house. This I will begin, and I will finish it. For I announced to him I will judge his house forever for the inequity of his sons. For his sons reviled God. <clears throat> and he did not correct them in any way. I swore to the house of Eli that the inequity of the house of Eli shall never be atoned for what, for with incense or with sacrifice. So Samuel fell asleep and rose early in the morning. He opened the doors of the Lord's house, but Samuel was afraid to tell Eli the vision. Then Eli called to Samuel, Samuel, my child, and he answered, Here, I am. And Eli said, What was the report? The Lord spoke to you. Please do not hide it from me. May God do these things to you, and more also if you hide anything from me of what he said to you. Then Samuel told him everything and hid nothing from him. And Eli said, He is the Lord. He will do what seems good to him. So Samuel grew and matured, and the Lord was with him and not one of his words fell to the ground and all Israel from Dan to Beersheba knew that Samuel was faithful as a prophet of the Lord the Lord appeared in Shiloh again for the Lord was revealed to Samuel and all Israel from one end to the land to to the other from one end of the land to the other believed Samuel to be a prophet of the Lord by now, Eli was, exceeding, was an exceedingly old man, and his sons continued living as they did, and their way was evil before the Lord. Notes from the previous page. 2.9 It is God who ultimately fills the heart with prayer. 2.11 Samuel did not merely help Eli with the menial tasks of the tabernacle, but actually participated in the liturgical worship of God. 2.21 God blessed Hannah with five more children because of her faithfulness and obedience. 227 through 29. <clears throat> the prophet condemns Eli because he excuses the conduct of his sons of his sons 313. The prophet <clears throat> The prophet declares Eli has honored his sons more than he has honored God. Even pious parents can be passive in the raising of their children, a warning to all who desire godly offspring. 235. Like Lactantian states, Lactantius states, <clears throat> and since Christ was the builder of this great and eternal temple, he must also have an everlasting priesthood in it. And there can be no approach to the shrine of the temple and to the sight of God except through him who built the temple. 3 1. God's word become very, 
had become very precious because of the absence of a clear, concise, and distinct vision from him. 3.7. Samuel had not yet become a prophet because this was the first time God had allowed himself to be known by him. 3.13 and 14. God reveals to Samuel what he had already re revealed to Eli through another man of God, confirming Samuel as a true prophet of the Lord.